Hello everyone, I'm going to be doing a commentary in the Raz tournament, so the Flockless tournament between Finnish hitters and Alface. This was the very first game of the tournament. And so there's a bunch of band skills and even a band profession in the Dervish. So there's going to be a lot of diversity and different builds and skills we'll see today. So Finnish hitters is running solo frontline. Ranger, para para, mez with the red flagger. Obio also with the red flagger, but with three alleys, two mez. So the two mezmers will not really have much to play against. Usually, mezmers are better against caster classes, obviously because of their rups and, and such. But NS running a very physical heavy build. Uh, these alleys are running. Let me just check the builds. So they're running one Water Rally with Aether Prism, one Blinding Surge, and one Mind Blast. So they will have the ability to solace it a little bit on the Mind Blast. However, I think that NS is running a Crip Shot, so that could make it quite risky because of the map. It makes it's a very collapsible map if you split. So the Crip Shot would be able to defend the Mind Blast if he decides to solace it without too much trouble. If NS stuns with collapse. So, looks like OVO is double running second one on their blinding surge. Bring out first one on, I think that's a fire rally, and the water rally here is Honk on a character called Melanchi Dervish. So, two. So, we've got an empathetic paragon, and I think this one is, yeah, the power is yours. The both teams just aviating right now. Ooh, Honk getting caught out on 40-40 set, nearly going down. Another thing to notice about this tournament is that there are no armor insignias and there are no armor weapons. So all the casters are going to have 60 armor, uh, other than the armor on their shield set. So let me just. So everybody has very low armor. So these physical spikes from NS is going to do a lot of damage. Alright, just having some. Oh, NS's flag are actually getting quite low there. So there's a nice flag push from OVO. And my screen is desynced again, but I'm just gonna see if it fixes itself if I wait. So OVO is in the dangerous- oh, there we go. I was going to say they're in a dangerous position because they're in the AV8 while uh, NS is holding the flag. And that's really the most dangerous spot for OVO to be in. They're only safe when NS's damage is split up. And so they want NS to be either running flag or having to defend split or something. But there was about a one minute window there where NS's flag was a main team which allowed them to just hold an AP8 and now they're scoring a lot of kills. There's after time kill on Matoko. Looks like they might get another one or two kills after time as well. You can see just how much damage is coming out because the no armor insignias. So Ethereal Light. This is a Boon Monk I think, Healing Boon. They're going to be doing a lot of healing when he's not being stripped. Okay, Gobbly goes down there. Both the Mesmer's down. This is quite bad for OVO. They might try and sneak a flag out the side right here, but this Crip Shot is going to make that quite hard if he's if he's watching. He's actually out of position right now, so it will allow Vardis to sneak a flag out if he wants to. If he goes right now. Yeah, this Ranger is in the worst position to try and stop him. Yep, so Vardis going the flag out right now. Being followed by... The Ranger now and by the Rit. We'll get the flag out though, and probably gonna be fine, maybe. I'm not sure, if he gets caught by the Ranger, the Ranger, this Ranger actually has Hunter Shot as well, so. And Butters does have Heal Breeze. So from the Poison and the Bleeding, he will be able to cancel out all of the regen from the Heal Breeze. Butters is actually gonna be caught out here, he didn't run away. So he's kind of stuck now, and he's probably going to get timed. Yeah, I don't really see a way out of this. 
the one thing I might get out of this actually is Bodice is getting a 1v1 opportunity right now, but he gets his Meteor Day shot, casting it right in front of the Ranger. Bodice gets killed after time, it's gonna be very, very bad for Ibio. And if he runs. Oh! Okay, so it's Screaming Shot rather than Hunter Shot actually, so there was one skill change in there. Butters is getting taken out, gets the Hill Breeze erupted by the Savage Shot, and Butters will go down. So I was saying that the one saving grace in this situation might be that uh, Butters did get a Fire Guard, so NS is actually running on their Fire Guard, which might give OBO a chance to kill NS, since they only have two monks right now pushing OBO's base. But it looks like they're not really under much pressure right now, so they'll probably be fine. These Paragons are probably offering a lot of defense with their Hex removal and their energy for the monks. So double Divine Healing there on NFP's backline, and the Boon Signet on that, what, I guess you can call it Heal Monk. So there's a lot of party healing, a very, very nice looking build here. So we see Death there on Mataiko. Mataiko will be 30 DP. I think it's 30 DP, but that was on 40-40 set, looks like. So OVO is really struggling here. There's not really a good way out of this with the Crypt Shot Ranger uh, watching for any splits. She'll guide him up on the Beast Urge. So, Honk, I mean, uh, Joe here as Ironhide doesn't have the Truman up right now. And the thing about Aerial is in this flux, I mean, with, this, with the tournament rules, really don't have that much energy management, he's only got a Truman and Glyph, so with his Truman being stripped, uh, he will run out of energy quite quickly. There's a nice blind there, on oh, sync. So we'll see what OVO plans to do as the base res here. If they take a death after time though, it will be catastrophic for them. They don't even have any hard reses, so I think they probably haven't got any sync left. So, see shock. Chain Lightning was taken out, and uh, I think he's got no Gale. So there was a kill right there on Anessa's Heal Monk, so that's a good sign for, for OBO. But NS will recover completely, and OVO is still in a very dangerous spot. They can take a death at any time with all of this huge physical spike. Toko taking a lot of damage here. Gets a weapon, so probably fine. Yeah, OVO is very close to taking deaths. There's a nice save from the monks. They need to really run out right now. They need to try and probably snare the Cryptshot Ranger and try and run out. NS doesn't have any movement control other than the Crypt Shot, so as long as they can sort of keep him locked down, they can sneak a character out. Because this AP8 is really not favoring them. They have a really big disadvantage with the build composition. I mean, they really don't have a way to score kills. So only Archer and Bodyguard left in the pit. Eat the prison saving Honk there. Getting NS a little bit low, but Honk does go down. That lack of armor from the survivors insignia is really doing a lot of work against OVO. There's a 93 from Crushing Blow on Shield Set takes Butters down. Another thing to notice is that this physical spike is even stronger than normal because usually lacking cracked armor in this kind of build, and they do lack cracked armor, they don't have a dervish or Ellie or they don't have Sundering as well because Sundering is banned. So cracked armor would usually be a really important thing to have in this kind of physical build because the armor really hurts you, armor attacking really hurts all this physical damage because there's no, nothing really armor known except for the Mesmer. Except because of the lack of armor, having no cracked armor on a physical team is not really a bad thing anymore with these tournament rules. So, Blinding Surge being AoE is usually good against two or three frontline builds, against one frontline build is there. It's not as much of a problem. It's, it's just kind of like a blinding flash in this situation, just on a little bit faster recharge. 
So this will be the end of OBO, they're taking a lot of depth and it's one minute for the base res. One thing to note about this game as well is that OVO had struggles setting up, they were missing a bunch of characters, like a bunch of their players in shop, so they were kind of scrambling to get players and make their build pretty quickly, so perhaps next round they'll be a bit more prepared. Also this was this map was chosen by NS, and OVO will have the next choice of map, which I believe will be Warriors Isle. So thanks for watching, and congrats to NS for this win, and stay tuned for next time.